Okay, I'm going back to Seattle today, so I'm just getting ready really quick. So Cowboy, he had a screwing yesterday. He, he got an A. He doesn't always get that. Actually, sometimes they say he gets mad at the hairdryer. Cowboy, let's show the people. Look how good you look. Actually just finishing packing, but I can't find my deodorant. I don't know where it went. <laughs> relaxing morning, but I've been a little bit um, forgetful. I got a little flustered when all of a sudden Lily started throwing up, like foaming at the mouth and throwing up. I don't know what happened. Maybe she ate something in the backyard. I have no idea, but I was like, okay, Jason, I'm going to Uber to the airport. And she, it all stopped. She's acting normal now, but I'm still just a little bit worried for her. In the Uber, I got out, had my stuff. I was like, okay, I have everything. No, I don't. I didn't have my bag. I banged on his door right before he uh, left. Like <laughs> that would have ruined my day and today's gonna be a good day that would have been a day ruiner and then i was going through tsa got all my stuff got through super quick and then i'm walking and i'm like huh i feel like i'm forgetting something again i literally left my carry-on at security anyways i have all my stuff i'm good to go i got upgraded to first class <laughs> i'm so freaking excited and i get to fly out of the best airport the best in the u.s this is literally the airport it's half outside So, headed to Seattle today. I'm getting a listing ready, I'm showing a house, and I'm doing an inspection, and then I'm going home. Either one full day. Let's go. Just got back to my house, I just checked my mail. I got something fun in the mail. I was just invited to my friend Janine's wedding in Dallas next month. But I think I'm also gonna pick up the Airstream at the same time and bring it back to Palm Springs. Last time I was here, the task rabbit was working on some patching. Okay, go off. <laughs> when I bought this house four years ago, it used to be an Airbnb and they had a, like a hotel would, they had this stupid hair dryer, which I honestly forgot about. I lived with it up against my wall. I patched that, so when he comes back, he'll probably smooth that out, paint over it, whatever. <laughs> This house, it's pretty cool how it's a Victorian style, but it was built in the 90s, so it's not actually like 100 years old, you know? And it's on a really large, super, super private lot. Isn't this crazy? So much space. Okay, gotta get my key box on. No. Oh my god, this, this is so handy. I don't even need it, but I'm taking it. Freeloading in the real estate office. to excuse my backyard it must be mating season because these crows in my backyard will not stop calling at each other and what are you doing okay there it goes that's just mother nature doing her thing right now it's 2 p.m and i'm putting makeup on i just feel so tired and groggy i know when i feel like this just getting ready instantly makes me feel better so that's what we're doing you know what's been on my mind i've been getting some comments that are like monica you look so happy and it's so cool seeing you guys happy for me i don't know i guess in a moment i'm happy but i don't even realize how happy i am until sometimes i look back myself and i'm like dang i really am in a good place right now and it's true i'm so happy i honestly am extremely 
extremely lucky to have such an amazing life and it's perfect right now. I just want to acknowledge that out loud. I know I'm so lucky and with all of this introspection, I figure it's a good time to talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I love BetterHelp. I have used them in the past. I'm not currently using BetterHelp because I just don't feel like I need it right now, but I do love that I've used it in the past. It's helped me get to where I'm at today and it's always there for me when I do need it. If you've never heard of BetterHelp, BetterHelp is 100% online therapy and their mission is to make therapy more accessible to everyone. Makeup done, I feel 100 times better. It's easy to get started. You take a short quiz and then they match you with a therapist in as little as a few days. If you don't feel like it's a good match, you can get rematched up with someone and scheduling is super easy. You can schedule it within the calendars as you can see right here. You can communicate via video calls, texts. So if you are interested in trying out BetterHelp, betterhelp.com slash church. I'm gonna have my link below. You get 10% off using that. Thank you to BetterHelp for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. Now I have more house updates to show you. In the entryway, it needed something like a console or a bench. And I found what I think is the most perfect bench. It's super, super cool. I found it at kind of like a thrift store in town. I think this looks so good there. And we did receive HOA approval to paint our door. This is uh, the primer. I'll let you guys comment below what color you think we are painting it. We have like five colors to choose from. Jason added solar landscape lights. These are inexpensive and work so well. You stick them right into the ground. You don't need to wire anything. And in the front yard, we got rid of a bush and added this amazing agave plant. It was windy early this morning and look at on our driveway, all this palm tree remnants from either this guy or this guy. I don't really want to show too much of the front yard, but I do love the front yard. I love the change. I love this bush with its cute little purple flowers. Today we went and got four tennis rackets so we can play as much tennis as we want even when we have friends over. <laughs> slowly working on switching up my wardrobe to be very Palm Springsy. I ordered a dress from Cezanne. They did give me credit, so I will say I did get this gifted to me. I didn't realize like it's it's a brand from Paris or from France at least and when you order online like they literally ship it from Paris. Like it goes through customs and everything and shipping was still free. Isn't that? It feels very fancy. I kind of love it. Here's how it comes. Look at this print. It is so fun. Oh, I love it so much. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Oh, it's so cute. Our first guest. Hey. Monica's vlog. I just wanna say, I love the house. Love what they've done with the place. We're having an amazing time. <laughs> it's so fun having Shelby in town because she is obsessed with tennis and I'm starting to really enjoy it as I'm well. so excited. I knew you would get obsessed with it too. <laughs> Just threw together a salad. I wish I had pepper. That's the one thing that's missing, but I think this is Potentially gonna be good. This is a bed of baby kale, canned tuna mixed with avocado, half an avocado, and the Primal Kitchen hot sauce. Then I cut up some cucumber. Ooh, it's good. We played last night at Twilight. At San Gorgonio, she left a three wood, a six iron, and a pitching wedge. They're all left-handed. Were those turned into the clubhouse? Put you on hold and I'll find out if you come in the other golf shop. Jason? Yep. Bass? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, they have yeah, yeah, three clubs were turned in early this morning. Thanks, bye bye. Yeah, so you guys heard that. I'm such an idiot. And I left <laughs> three golf clubs on the course. One that cost like five hundred dollars. <laughs> Not fun, but they found them. <laughs> I got up at 6 a.m. this morning for the probably the only thing that'll voluntarily get me up at 6 a.m. We're going golfing. 
Okay, you guys are gonna think I really suck at golf, and yes, I do. But after this all, I got two pars in a row. Then we had some friends come into town. We made a fun little brunch at home. The next day we went to farm. These streets look amazing, which is my favorite brunch spot in Palm Springs. I always get the complete crepe. Jason has decided he really wants a vintage car, so we just went and looked at some. I don't think it's a good idea, but I entertained it for a second. He should just get a limo for when friends come into town. Could you imagine? Then I got this fun little dress from Tommy Bahama. Later, we went to Clandestino. Delicious. I always get the trio of quesadilla and ended the evening in the hot tub. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I have been consistently waking up at 7 a.m. or earlier. Really, no matter what, it's, it's so nice you know i was talking about oh quality of life is so much better here versus seattle this time of year and some of you commented like confused what i meant by that well what i partly meant by that was by the way check out my this is my fancy cucumber mint water so what i meant by that was partly the price of homes like a house like this in seattle would cost like 1.2 million dollars i bet you here we bought it for like 800. we were at this golf course golfing and there were condos for two hundred thousand dollars on this course the desert princess which i've never been to and there's houses like condos all around they're like two bed thousand ish square feet condos and i'm like gosh i'm curious how much do you think these cost guess how much two to three hundred thousand dollars just quality of life this time of year. Seattle's just getting so dark. Like I wake up at 7 a.m. every morning because the sun is shining through. And in Seattle, it's like feels dark until like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. And then I don't want to get up until like 10 a.m. Like in Seattle this time last year, I would be so lazy. Okay, last week I said vacation was over. I'm gonna get a bunch of work done. That did not happen. Vacation continued and it was amazing. But this week, this Monday, I actually wanna start getting productive again. 